In this video, I'm gonna take you to San Diego's liveliest neighborhood next on Jaycation. What's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video here in the San Diego series. Today, I'm gonna take you through San Diego's liveliest neighborhood. That's right, we're back here in Little Italy, and I'm gonna show you places that I've never been to before. A few restaurants, some bars, some breweries, and just the ambiance of this neighborhood. I'm even gonna show you an Airbnb, which I'm staying at the next two nights. Right now, we're here at Plaza de la Familia, right next to Sam the Cooking Guy, famous YouTuber, he has a couple of places over here. Not Not Tacos is one of the famous spots. Right above me is this place called Morning Glory. I included that in my best date night in San Diego video. Make sure you check that out after this one. We're gonna go around, try out three or four new places, show you maybe a few coffee spots, and just show you how lively Little Italy is. And this is the area of San Diego that I'd wanna live in if I were to live on my own. And it is the biggest Little Italy in the United States, is what they say online. Let's go check it out. It used to be a Portuguese and Italian fishing village. They used to bring a bunch of tuna here in the 1930s and now it's just a restaurant, arts, and food hub. We're doing this video a little differently. We're actually gonna stay in Little Italy for the weekend just to show you what it's like to kind of have the local feel of living in Little Italy which I think is the most lively neighborhood in all of San Diego. So let's go inside to this Airbnb and take a little tour. All right, Jaycationers, it's now time to give you the review of this spacious Airbnb loft here at Little Italy overlooking San Diego Bay and some of the buildings over here. A little thing that's a disadvantage of this spot is it's right on the landing path so the planes every few minutes fly right above you. If you don't like that during the day and you just want total peace and quiet this may not be the place for you but I'm telling you this place is spacious. It's a huge concrete loft and it's very open spaced and when you walk in, you have a bench where you can put your shoes on. They even have coat hangers, key hangers over there. It's one of those double doors you can open up and lock. They do put a key in the lock box for you to grab downstairs. I'll show you guys that a little later. And the west side is lined with windows. There are blackout curtains and curtains for the bedroom, so that helps out, but you get beautiful views. I even saw the trolley just passing by right here. Over here in the living room area, this is actually a futon that turns into a bed. You also got a fireplace so you can light it all up. There's even wood in there. A couple of bean bags of all things, and then you get a nice 45 inch screen TV here. There's a Roku there. There's a couple more chairs here. On top of that, you get a nice little coffee table so you can sit back, drink coffee. There is coffee in the kitchen so you can make coffee in the morning for this Airbnb. I'm gonna link this Airbnb down below. This is great and there's even stools out here. Now, you're not supposed to throw any parties or anything and it's just me and my friend here for the weekend. And there goes the plane and I just saw it. Alaska Airlines. Parking is tough. I had to park by Wolfie's Carousel Bar and it's only an hour parking and I gotta go run there and move it. But there is a parking garage you gotta pay extra for but there's ways around it for me. I know since I'm a local so I'm gonna move the car in a little bit. So you have your stove, you have your oven, your refrigerator, two thumbs up to that. And there's also a freezer. It's a normal size refrigerator. Here in the kitchen you have your sink. They have a huge coffee maker. I'm probably not gonna use the coffee maker. James Coffee, which we're gonna show you in this video, is just right down the corner. So I'm gonna try that out. Tons of drawers. Oh, they even have like, spices and a few things from probably either people who live here. Oh, even like baking stuff. So I think this is a long-term rental as well, but we're only staying here for two nights. It's pretty expensive to live in Little Italy, but if I had a place to choose in San Diego, especially at my age, in my 30s, I'd love to live here in Little Italy. It has access to the trolley. The only thing is there's just no parking, so you'd have to find a loft or a condo that has a parking spot for my car, because I love to drive. If you're in San Diego, you gotta drive. In this small little closet space, you have a washer and dryer, so if you're staying here a little longer, you can get your clothes cleaned. Basically has all the amenities. Now here in the bedroom, you have another TV. It's a little smaller than the one in the living room, but it's also got a Roku, and then the air conditioning remotes are here hung up on the wall. You got a unit here and a unit in the other part of the loft. There is a partition here just in case you need privacy in the bedroom. Nice huge bed. 
this is a king bed. Yeah, this is a king bed. You got a couple of nightstands next to it with some lights. There's also a speaker and a smart like uh, Google Home type thing. I don't think it's a Google Home, but it's some sort of that. I think it might be a Samsung. They give you a luggage rack, and then there's a bunch of cabinets here. The entryway of the bathroom, they do have a little stool where you can sit at and a full length mirror. The throne is nice and low, just how I like it. You have a bathtub and a shower. They also provide you with conditioner and shampoo. They have soap over here, a blow dryer, and a sink, which apparently needs to be fixed and it's not working right. So somebody's here trying to fix it. And a bunch of towels. They also have a nice frame here. Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars. Now the only thing I don't like is on the other side, you get this beautiful view, but on the other side, on the east side, it's the freeway. There's a huge slope there and it looks nice, but then you look at the bottom of the slope and there are unfortunately a couple of homeless encampments there. You're way high up on the building, but you can't help but see it through the blackout curtains. So unfortunately, that's one negative of this place. I think this Airbnb went for about 175 a night and this is a Saturday, Sunday stay. So that's not bad, but with airplanes, it's not dangerous, the slope is so far away, but still, you still have that and you still see that. So that's it for the Airbnb review. Now let's go have some dinner with a couple of YouTube friends. And there you go, that's the planes flying right over. I do like how they have the little Italy flags right here though. So they have one of these storefront type open and closed doors. And this is your key, you get in the lockbox. This is the stairwell down here. And you do get a nice view out onto India Street and the Old Town Trolley passes by this route. Beautiful. So this is where you get this key. This is the lockbox, they'll give you a code for it. And you just go up these stairs. Walk in right outside the Airbnb. El Camino, where they have the famous fish bowls over here, and a nice party on the weekends is right here, right across the street, this little zebra building, and Wolfie's Carousel is just down here. If you didn't see my Fall Hidden Gems video, I covered Wolfie's Carousel Bar. We may check this out during this video. We may not, but it's just across the street from the Airbnb. So I was able to find a one hour parking spot here, right off of Kettner but I only have an hour, so I'm gonna move my car. This area right here has a lot of art and design and decoration spots right off of Kettner, and it's the street near the airport. The planes fly directly right over the street. So I gotta pay for parking here. You still gotta pay for parking until about six, it's about three o'clock, so I'm gonna get two hours parking. We'll grab our first meal. It's 125 an hour here. So 250 for two hours, expires at 515. I just legit saw a girl walking a dog and her pet pig. I guess that's what you see here in Little Italy. Right down the road is the County Admin Building and it's under construction right now. If you haven't seen my Christmas bars in San Diego video, I do cover crafting commerce and inside is their Tiki Bar False Idol. But I always see this place on and pop in King and Queen Cantina and everybody keeps commenting I should try it. So let's go in there and check it out. We're out here on the balcony of King and Queen Cantina. This is the second floor, it's called Mr. Tempo, Little Italy SD. 90 minute table limit. I got myself a stone. Buena Vesa. Gotta stay local since we're here in San Diego. Now the only odd thing about this place is that they don't have tap water, it's just bottled water for four bucks. So I just went with the beer. Why not? We're staying here for the weekend anyways. But I also got the fish tacos and that's coming real quick. They also have the first floor, so this place is always cracking. Let's see what it's all about. The uh, fish tacos were 18 bucks. So I had to go with that stone Buena Vesa. Got the lime in it. Cheers. I know this is Little Italy, but there are a nice array of other things like Mexican food, breweries, American food all around the place. So we're gonna get a plethora of that in this video. What I like about this place is that the food came out super duper quick. Ensenada style fish tacos here. Looks like we got some beetroot, some pico de gallo, chipotle, fried fish, some cabbage. Gotta put this lime on it, and then they also give you the salsa verde. This literally came out within five minutes of me ordering it. That's a plus, quick service. And they have the double layer flour tortillas. So, cheers. Unique salsa verde. Tacos are hitting the spot. This is my first food of the day, so I'm starving. Mm. Got a little bit of sweet, got a little souriness. Pretty good. We're gonna kill this. Mr. Tempo is the owner and they 
do have a ton of locations around Southern California, LA, Orange County, San Diego. So King and Queen Cantina isn't just here in Little Italy. I had no idea. It's my first time here. A lot of people in the comment section say, dude, you gotta check out King and Queen Cantina. It's always cracking. So great fish tacos. Love my Stone Buena Vesa. I heard after seven, this place becomes like a party. There's music and everything, but you can still eat. It's great, and it's right next to Virgin Brewing. I'm trying to show you guys places I haven't hit up yet in Little Italy. So if you haven't seen my first video, I'll link it down below. But King and Queen Cantina, if you want to come here for a simple party, check it out. I ran into a couple of JK shooters, Daniel and Jay. They hooked it up with this Cadillac Margarita. You guys want to say what's up? <laughs> <laughs> I like margaritas bomb. Cheers, man. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, man. Oh, I'll get all these three. Oh, cheers. King and Queen Cantina, that's a great time, man. Um, ran into Daniel and Jay, they watched my channel. Shout out to you guys, thanks for the uh, Cadillac Margarita. They do have an Everbowl here. If you guys haven't seen my best happy hour in San Diego video, this is Ironside where they have a great happy hour and amazing oysters. We'll be back at Coco Maya in a couple of hours, but right next to it is Salt and Straw if you want some ice cream. And The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, is part owner. This is Plaza de la Familia. Here's the Christmas tree, which you're seeing it dried out and remnants of it is kind of sad but they do have a Christmas tree lighting every year here this is the princess pub and grill great place to have some drinks and even some food nice place to watch soccer I'm guessing this place was popping during the World Cup and they even have bands here at night here's another cool spot parakeet cafe nice place to grab brunch might have to check this out they have a few locations around San Diego solved my parking problem one of my good friends lives here in downtown and uh, they have guest parking for their condo the thing that is great about little Italy is that is right next to the Santa Fe train depot so if you come here via Amtrak or trolley there's a stop right here it's been a minute since your boy has been on the reverse flash but I parked on the other side of Little Italy shout out to Sean for hooking up with the parking tonight we're gonna head over back to the Airbnb drop off my bags and uh, have a fun night. Wow, it is nice and cold here in San Diego. It is about low 50s right now. I'm having a good time. I'm here on the PCH right now, just going up it. This will take me all the way to my Airbnb. Beautiful sunset here in San Diego. That is the Star of India, that lit ship right there, right by the Embarcadero Park and the Admin County Building. We're gonna go all the way down, turn right on Laurel. Gas is always a ripoff by the airport. 5.59 for regular. Just had to get a change of clothes here back in the Airbnb. Airbnb get settled in a little bit. Now we're gonna go to one of San Diego's oldest restaurants. We showed it real quick in the video last time, but this time around we're gonna go inside and have a couple of drinks. We're gonna meet up some friends. We're gonna go to Waterfront. We're gonna hop on the reverse flash and get over towards Waterfront off of Kettner. All right guys, we're on the reverse flash. If you guys are interested in getting one of these, it's from Miles Board. Shout out to the homie Rob Rast. If you guys use my promo code and you buy one of these, you get a free Miles Board backpack. I use it all the time. I met up with my friend Sean. We're here at Waterfront. It's San Diego's oldest bar. I thought Tivoli was, but maybe that's the oldest one in East Village. Hanging out, catching up. Really cool dive bar, but they also have seats out here in the patio. We're just sit seated out here in the patio having some seltzers. What I really like about Waterfront is that they actually give you free popcorn. That's right, free popcorn. The oldest bar by like three years. So he's gonna show us a great time, right? Got some calamari here at Coco Maya. The vibes in here are immaculate. Like, I almost feel like I'm at like a lounge vibe. Try some of their calamari right here. No sauce. Okay. Had a lot of spice flavor. Not super crispy. Let me try some of the sauce. Too much sauce. Mmm. Makes it much better. I feel like this is the type of place to take a date or like your home girls, your homeboys, grab some drinks. We're about to get a drink in a sec. I got a drink with mezcal in it, so can't get enough of Mexico. Just a couple uh, minutes drive away from SD. I got the side piece right here. I feel like it's obligatory to get a drink in here. Everyone's drinking peer pressure, right? A light, fruity drink, some little mints right here. 
refreshing. That's what it's like in SD, guys. SD is all about the vibe. I'm here with the man, King SD himself, showing us around. In Little Italy. I got the uh, Thorn Street Brewing Mexican Lager. That's refreshing, guys. I love Little Italy. Cheers. Bro, I need some pizza. I'm very full, but we're in Little Italy, so gotta get some Italian food, all right? Pizza y pizza. You ready for some Landini's, bro? I'm actually getting a little hungry now. Landini's is my top five in San Diego. Top five? Pizza. Dang, I appreciate Jay showing me around his city. I'm excited. Landini. Yes, sir. It's about to get free Kadini. All right, JK Harris. We've been here before. Landini's. But I had to show Todd and Dan What's up? Showing us around his city. I got the buffalo. Todd got that pepperoni right here. Pepperoni and cheese. You got that sausage, bro. Sausage right here. Always gotta get that extra cheddar on there. Cheers, guys. Thank you. I love thin crust pizza. Nice and crunchy on the bottom. And that cheese, guys. Ooh, that cheese. I have pepperoni. That's really thin crust. Really crispy. That's pretty good. That cheese is fluffy like a cloud. It's like you're in New York, right? I love thin crust pizza. Good to eat this because I almost ate shit outside in the parking lot. Guys, Jay is smooth with it. He makes it look easy when you see him on that board. I got off the board and my thumb was still on the trigger. And I, literally the board flew in front of a bunch of people. It was crazy. I almost ate it today, but good thing I didn't. AP instead. Make sure you guys subscribe, Dan vs. World, and talk to Mexico. Much love, brothers. Let's finish this up. Cheers. Bon appetit. We're ending our night with some Landinis. Back at the Airbnb now. Got the uh, pepperoni sausage. Mm. Till tomorrow, San Diego. Sunday morning, we're headed to James Coffee. Grab some brew. We're gonna try out a few more places before this video is over. Have a few more guests. All right, guys, so we're here at James Coffee, and it's this nice little warehouse building just two doors down from where I'm staying here in Little Italy. And they do have a ton of different coffee shops here. I've covered a few in my best coffee in San Diego video over here in Little Italy. And they actually have a Bird Rock coffee roasters here that has moved in. And that's just down off of Ketna. Right now we're off India Street. And I just got the Costa Rican blend with oat milk and a couple of stevia here. Oh yeah, that will do. This has got like a chocolatey berry flavor to it. This will get me going this morning. Gotta drive up to LAX actually in the middle of this video and then we're gonna come back down and uh, finish this video tonight at one of the nicest restaurants in all of San Diego. You'll see it and we're gonna have a special guest. We're gonna take this to go. We're on a schedule today. There's also plenty of breweries around here in Little Italy. They have McKellar just down the street. Virgin is one of my favorites. That's off of Columbia. And then they also have a stone right next to the Santa Fe train depot. There's still a few other breweries around here more than I mentioned. Oh, Ballast Point too. Obviously you can't forget the Ballast Point. That's one of my favorites. All right, I saw this ever bowl yesterday. I gotta stop by here before I get in the car to LA. Let's grab ourselves some acai bowls. After eating so bad yesterday, those three pieces of pizza. Decided, gotta get an acai bowl. So I just got the classic ever bowl. Strawberries, blueberries, bananas, granola, honey, and acai in the bottom. Just love the crisp and taste of this. Mm. I also love that you can enjoy these over at Pottery Games. Are you guys interested in seeing top five acai bowl spots in San Diego? Comment down below. Mm. Nothing beats fresh fruits and acai in the morning. Final night in Little Italy. Had to bring a special guest. Hello, what's up, JK Sinas? It's me! It's Mel from Barcelona. She's hey. here. <laughs> and yeah, this is weird. You're on my part of the world. Yeah. And we're gonna so try cool. a restaurant here in San Diego. Yeah, where are we going? Born and raised. Excited? Are you tired? Yeah. She tired. just flew in, literally just flew in from LAX. Mm -hmm. So yeah, let's go. Let's eat. Let's go eat. Hungry. Ready for dinner? Absolutely starving. I've only had that acai bowl today. <laughs> I'm super hungry as Let's. well. Like it's been forever that I had food. All right, what are you waiting for? Let's eat. <laughs> what are you drinking? All right, Mel. Meatball appetizer. Yay, yay, yay. Looks really good. Hungry. 
three. It's like we got Parmadale. We haven't ate yet, so. You dig in. You first. Habsies on the meatball. I have them first, but I don't even know what. Inner sauce with some white white sauce on it too. I don't even know what it is. They're uni spaghetti. It's sold out, so we had to get the. So you got chicken, salt. smoky chicken. Smoked chicken. I have the steak Diane. Looks amazing. And, and the hash browns. They prepared this table side. It looks so good. And it smells smoky. I had him prepare medium. Shout out to Jake. He did a great job cooking it. Really great service. So thank you. So this is the steak Diane Jakeation Nation. He's got mashed potatoes in the bottom. Mm -hmm. mm. It tastes so good. Guys, nice. you have to come here. The mushrooms are good too. The quality is incredible. It's mind blowing. We're gonna go with the hash browns and try it. It's the hash browns. Yeah, like everyone is talking about these hash browns. No, you gotta try it. This yeah. is not McDonald's hash browns. It's not? No, it's, it's the whipped cream, the chives. Oh, wow. It's good, right? Yeah, really, really good. These hash browns are sick. It's like a classy hash brown. Fancy hash brown. Mm. This is like a fish eggs. Smoked trout egg is what they said. That was amazing. Yeah. Super cool with food. And jet lag. And jet lag. Yeah, and tired. Time to go to bed. bed. <laughs> I'll take you to a coffee place in the morning. Yeah, I couldn't even have a coffee right now. So, so tired. <laughs> she couldn't finish her wine. We got some wine from Napa Valley, so I'm gonna finish it. Cool. <laughs> Alright, Mel, let's go to bed. Bedtime. Good night. Next day, we're not in Little Italy anymore, but we got this in Little Italy, Bird Rock. Yeah. Did you like coffee your... Coffee was really, really good. What did you get? Honey latte? Honey latte was very good, yes. I got the uh, dark chocolate mocha. I show Melanie around San Diego more, so later. Bye. Bye. See you at Disneyland. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen my 2020 version of Little Italy, I cover a lot more spots. Check it out right here. And if you haven't liked this video, please do. It really helps distribute it throughout YouTube. Check out It's Always Sunny in San Diego. It's 8,000 lovers of San Diego talking about the news, tips, and tricks of San Diego. And we'll see you in the next one. And in the words of Jaycation, stay traveling, San Diego. Thank you.